I am back again with another daily DevOps video and we can kind of see where I'm at today. I have some good news and I have some really, really bad news. So the bad news is always first. I divorced Kubernetes. I decided to side up with Docker Compose. Just for now, I'll get back with her later. So what happened? Where did things go bad? Well, uh, all, my doc, um, all my Kubernetes nodes were based off of the Ubuntu 2004 template that I had in Proxmox, and then I ran an Ansible playbook that I created against them. Well, something happened in that playbook where I upgraded to 2104 and nothing would boot up this morning. Yesterday when I scaled down my nodes, came back today and scaled back up from my home lab, nothing would start and went to a kernel boot. I had great time lapse of my frustrations and going, what the hell is wrong here? But I saved the files in the wrong format and I don't feel like we're covering them. So it's gonna be a little shorter than I wanted, but that's where we're at with the bad news. So now the good news. It got Git T up and running and it's running pretty good. So I'm gonna switch over here to my good old thread and we can see Git T is running. I had to spin this up with one single node that you can see over here in my Proxmox. I'm gonna keep using this node for a few services. That's gonna be it, it's gonna be drone CI and maybe one other application deployment for my home services. And then eventually when I get my Ansible playbook ironed out and rebuild my nodes and my templates for Kubernetes, we'll have a migration exercise. So I think it'll be good practice and generally something that you might encounter on a day-to-day -day basis. So who knows, I might need to get a freshen up on database migrations. That'll be fun and I'll most likely screw that up somehow too. So we can see here, I just got one node now. If I actually look at the hardware, um, just you know, six gigs of memory, why not? Why not four and eight? I decided to settle in the middle, six is better, and two processors. So everything's working pretty good. And you can see here that I just have this Ubuntu 2004 template. This was the template that started all the problems. Somewhere when I built upon this, everything died. Everything. So my proxies, my Kates nodes, this thing, something I built on top of it, so I'm gonna have to redo it. That'll be a later video. But right now, let's talk about being agile because guess what? We have to keep moving and we gotta keep building. We got products to deliver and I have no idea what I'm talking about because I'd be a terrible scrub. It's up to me, we'd have two pizzas every day. So we're a DevOps shop and we gotta keep on moving and fail fast. And this brings us to Docker Compose. Because you know what? Everybody likes a little bit of tech debt. And we, let's look at this Docker Compose file. Just pretty simple, straight off the website on how to do it. And I kept some default values here just to make sure it could work. Look at that password. And this just pains my information security background heart, just plain text password. So we're gonna be taking care of this. But POC is done, things are ready. Now we gotta talk about next steps. One, I'd like to integrate Azure AD for my authentication to Git T. Git T accepts Open ID and SAML, so I should be able to hook that up, no problem. Two, start using Portainer to manage the containers and the secrets within these Docker Compose files, so that way they're kept out of clear text and is held in a better, somewhat secure manner. Um, I'd honestly like to store them in Kate's secrets, or not Kate's secrets. AWS Secrets Manager, and then like have a CI job, pull them down, build it, but we'll get there one step at a time. Then, while building this, or maybe after, I am going to start working on getting Drone CI deployed in my home lab. Why Drone CI? It's pretty cloud native, and the way it integrates as um, a container or a Kubernetes pod, I, I just like it. I just think it's really smooth and clean. I've worked with Azure DevOps, GitLab. Uh, GitLab CI runners are my other favorite, but I'm also a big fan of Azure DevOps. And I just wanna just really work with something new. And I just seen a few demos of Drone CI and I'm pretty impressed. And it's something, you know, that's what a home lab is for, for experimenting, breaking stuff, and just knocking your head on a wall wondering why things don't work. So that's pretty much it. I did have another time lapse and all that is gone because I'm terrible at content making. And that's pretty much it. So, Catch you tomorrow, and we'll have a little bit more updates. See you later.